Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us discuss about querying and transforming XML data. So basically, in our last few lectures, we discussed how data is represented in between tags and all those things, right? Just here data will be printed or here data will be stored. So if you want an example, so here book underscore a name. Inside that you will be writing the book name that is nothing but a DBMS, assume in that way. And you'll be closing the book tag, right? Yes. So you might be having a question that, okay, so reading by a human is really easy and simple, right? But how a query language or SQL or any, any kind of thing, how it can access it and how can we store it into the database? You might be having a doubt in this way, right? Yes. So there are three top or three important methods which can be applied to get the data from there, guys. Okay. Okay. So this whole process is nothing but a translation of information from one XML schema to another. Okay, so you're transferring the data from XML schema to database or anywhere guys. So you're just getting the data from it. Okay, so querying on XML data in simple words, you can say it is nothing but a process of querying on XML data. So about two are closely related and handled by the same tools. So for doing these two things like to convert it from one schema to another schema or to get the data from the SQL uh, from the XML. So we are having the three major methods guys. So the first method is nothing but X path. The second is nothing but XSLT. The third is nothing but X query. Okay. So X path. So X path is nothing but for each and every particular column you can say so assume that there is a huge program in which multiple books book names are written so i'm talking about xml guys xml program or xml language code is there in which hundreds of books are there so now you want to collect only books names so in that situation you can use the xml path it is nothing but a simple language consisting a path expression so based on a simple expression so assume that i'll be giving you a small example here only guys so assume that you are in a bookstore inside bookstore there is a separate called book inside book you are having the name okay and you want only text so in this way you can print it guys okay so in this way by using these kind of small small paths and all those things you can get the x path so this is nothing but the x path it will be in this way guys we will be discussing about that in detail don't worry okay so in this kind of x paths you can get the data from the sql from the sorry from the xml okay okay and the second way is xslt so in this method you will be converting one xml document into another xml document or one xml document into an html document okay so simple language designed for translating an xml to xml or xml to html okay guys for each of these we will be dedicating one one video guys so that will be clear for you don't worry about that okay so x query an xml query language with a rich set of futures used to retrieve data from XML document. So here we used a particular path to identify, but it's a bit complex, right? Even you can write conditions also, but it's a bit complex when compared to X query. So X query is a directly a query language guys in which you can query directly from the X XML, right? Okay. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through X path, but before going through X path, you should have a clear idea on the tree structure guys. Okay, guys, I think if you have watched the, through the playlist, you will be having a clear idea about the tree structure because the tree structure we have already discussed in web programming, like in XML, we discussed about this. So at that time only I indicated you about this guy. So, and we added that in the playlist also so that it will be clear for you. Okay. So just to give me a second, guys, I'm taking the example from the papers. Okay. Okay. So if you observe here, this is a bookstore example, guys. So there is a bookstore inside which there are multiple books. Okay. So there are total three books. Each of the book is having title, author, year, price. Okay. A simple tree structure for this will be in this way. So the bookstore will be the root. Okay. So bookstore is having three books. I'm just writing B, B guys for books. Okay. So inside books, we are having title, author and year, title, year, sorry, title, author and year, title, author and year. So this is a simple tree structure 
for the given XML document guys. So I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? Okay. So now let us go through the points which are given here. Okay. So let me draw the same example so that when you are referring the PDF, you will be having a clear idea. Okay. So bookstore will be having books. B. I'll be writing the full forms also guys. Don't worry. B indicates books. T indicates title. Okay. And A indicates author. Okay. And Y indicates year. Okay. Okay. So T A Y T A Y T A Y in this way. Okay. Yes. So now let us go through some different different points about this tree model guys. So query and transformation languages are based on the tree model of XML data. So why we are saying the tree model tree model is that if you observe here carefully, if you want to get the title, the path is almost the same guys. So inside bookstore, you need to go into a book inside that you will be having a title inside title, you will be having the title value. So in the same way for each and everything. So it is just a repeated process. So that is the reason why it is used to query the particular XML data file. Okay. So an XML data file is modeled as a tree with a nodes corresponding to elements and attributes. So each and every node is an element or an attribute. Okay. So elements of the nodes have ch child nodes, which can be attributes or sub elements. So here you can say that books bookstore is having an attribute called book book is having an attribute called title and title is having a value called the book name or DBMS advanced database management system. The book name assume in that way. Okay. Okay. Similarly, text in an element is modeled as a text node. Okay. Of the child node. Okay. So child children of a node are ordered according to the XML order of the document. Okay. So this thing you should remember guys. So if you recall the example, which we discussed, so the order, which I wrote the title author and year is exactly the same in which the document is also written. So if you want me to show it again, I can just to show it guys. There is no issue in it. Okay. Okay. So here also the order is same, right? Oh, sorry. Title, author and year title, author and year. So the exact order we used here. So the order is also really important. You should maintain the order guys. Okay. Ordering according to them and elements and attribute nodes, except the root node should have a single parent. So basically each and every node, if you are checking, it will always have a single parent guys. So there will be no node with the two parents. Okay. So if, it, if that, there's a situation like that, that's a wrong code. You, you did represent in a wrong way or you, the code that you wrote the XML markup file which you wrote is wrong. Okay. So the root node has a single child and the root node can have a single child. So basically if you say that the root node should always be a slash guys. So from the root node, we'll be getting the bookstore and from the bookstore, you'll be continuing below. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about the XML tree and how the querying and transferring will be done. Guys, in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about XML path, guys, so that you'll be getting a clear idea. Don't worry about that. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture and let us discuss about XML path. Thank you. Thanks for watching.